So this has possibly been the hardest video I've had to make in my short YouTube career because I've always had a hard time articulating my thoughts and about the subject, but uh, if you're not aware, the F oh, I'm sure you're pretty aware because a lot of the YouTubers are speaking about this and it's about the FTC and the new uh, YouTube system as to whether or not to decide whether your videos are um, in compliance to COPPA. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because um, not a lot of uh, videos are uh, talking about the small channel perspective and um, in doing some research I watched a lot of videos and things like that and I highly recommend that you get informed as well because there are some serious consequences if you do not comply to these new standards and things like that. It has a huge impact. It's not only affecting toy channels but gaming, arts and crafts and many more and uh, we've officially entered the gray zone of the legal system when it comes to the FTC and COPA and uh, what happens in the ne next, coming, uh, next coming months really is going to set a precedent for future problems involving internet creation and things like that so the main reason this was set into motion was because of uh, YouTube in violation of the COPA uh, regulation and um, I understand that it was made in the, with the best, best intention of helping protect children and their privacy and things like that. But, um, you know, it's it's got some serious ramifications that's got me worried. Um, now, something I do want to note, too, is that there hasn't been much media coverage outside of YouTube and the Internet itself about this. I was watching the news earlier today, and there was no coverage of it whatsoever. So I think they're taking this uh, moment to take a you know, a jab at the internet content. But regardless, YouTube themselves did a check recently of everyone's videos and fortunately enough when I looked recently none of my videos were marked made for kids. But um, even the FTC themselves have said that that doesn't really matter. They won't take that into consideration. And um, YouTube themselves has basically told us that if we have questions about our content then we have to go seek legal counseling and I don't know about you I don't have that kind of money nor do I have money to pay a 42,000 fine from from the FTC so like I said there's some serious ramifications if you do not comply to this uh, new regulation if it does uh, stick to the way it is now um, now I know some youtubers are using the argument that hey my age demographics say I'm not making content for children under the age of 13. I have a lot of 30 plus viewers, there are 30 year old viewers and things of that nature but if you're a small channel like myself you don't get that kind of luxury so I don't even know who's viewing my content and what age group they're in but I like to think that they're of an older, older audience because of my content is more towards adult collectibles or what I would even consider adult collectibles and we'll go into that a little bit later but um either way regardless of what a content creator may think it's all reliant on a third party the FTC so let's be real here if someone just look comes across my thumbnails and sees smart doll review and it's a picture of a doll they're gonna think it's made for kids regardless of what is being said in the video I think they're going to go on a surface level check and not really consider the other option. I mean, granted the same on the other coin, uh, other side of the coin can be true, but to err on the safe side, it's better to just market made for kids. But that in and of itself is just a death sentence because there's a lot of restrictions when you make that decision and it's irreversible according to YouTube. Now, like I said, I understand why these uh, regulations are made and things like that but the way it's phrased in the actual document it's so vague that it's really the gray zone of law in America and it's really subjective as opposed to being objective and uh, a lot of the dialect in the document is just so outdated since it's from 1998 and a lot of the context has been removed since that time so I think uh, we can really work together with the FTC to develop a better system and at least get on board because that, that's something I will admit that the FTC is open to uh, 
you know, comments from creators and viewers because this is a serious issue. And like I said, it will set a precedent for future stuff on the internet. And this affects everyone, not just YouTube creators, but viewers as well. Now, I mentioned before that I view my channel or the content of my channel geared towards adult collectibles because it's a lot of higher end pieces that aren't necessarily, you know, on everyone's radar. It's more art designer pieces and things like that. So to me, that's adult collectible. That's what I define as adult collectible. But again, I think toy is a subjective term and it's hard to enforce subjectivity as opposed to objectivity. Uh, but again, a third party will just glance at my thumbnails and I'm automatically think they're made for to uh, made for kids. Now, uh, I haven't marked one way or the other on my uh, videos, to be honest with you, because I honestly don't know what I should be doing at this moment outside of, you know, men making sure my voice is heard and making sure that the this doesn't get buried, you know, because this is going to affect everyone, regardless of what you may think. And I'm definitely not going to be taking this lying down. You know, as much as I <laughs> have not made an, a lot of content for you guys, and I apologize for that, but I want to be here. I want to develop the community and make sure that action figures are, aren't a dying breed, as silly as that may sound, because I enjoy action figures and I would love for them to prosper and things like that and share, you know, my thoughts with you guys, you know, but, um, yeah, the, <laughs> the consequences for not checking properly the box on YouTube are serious and it's that in conjunction with other shenanigans going on in my life is really demoralizing to me, you know, um. It's just, it's crazy to think that they can slap you with a 42000 fine because they think it's made for toy or made for kids, rather. But yeah, like I said, um, I recommend doing your research, getting in contact with the FTC, making a civil comment on the FTC, making sure that our voices are heard, you know, in a respectful manner. Because we all want this to change for the better as opposed to being changed for the worse. So, um... I'm not sure when the next time I will see you, but I will continue to work on videos I have in production already, and until then, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you around.